in a like in a store in Gateway is different than everyone who walks into the store at um, um, fashion place or something, right? There's different sorts of people who go to those different uh, those different walls, right? So 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 that would not be a random distribution either. But that's probably, if you wanted a good, you know, a good distribution of your types of customers, you may want to spread it out like that. If you just took 100 people like Gateway, you may not get anyone from, from fashion lists. Yeah, but, but, so this is a harder thing to do in, if you're dealing with actual stores. If you're on the internet and you're, you're some site like you want to, you're, if, if you're doing something like walmart.com, and you want to look at uh, a sample of all the customers who go to Walmart.com, then you can actually control this. You know, every you know every so many customers, you put up a thing, say, please take the survey, and then and assuming they take the survey, then you have an even distribution. You can control that. But with actual stores, it's with physical stores, it's a bit more difficult. Well, surveys have the problem that people self-select for them. Yeah, yeah. So there's other problems with surveys, and if you read. Um, does anyone read Nate Silver's blog? Yeah. 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 So he's talked a lot about the problem of surveys, how you can try and correct for that. We won't get too much into anything like that, but we'll touch on some similar concepts. Um, so, so it's, yeah. it's one of these nice events is that so they have to be within these predefined things. That it, it can't just be any arbitrary number, any arbitrary 10,000 people, or anything. Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so I, I haven't done a great job of defining here, but, but, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a fairly complicated definition. But I'll, I'll just give you another example, right? So, say you have um, the birthday here, and you also have the age, right? So, any customer has a certain birthday, and they're born in a certain year, right? So, they have this some age, or maybe. To make it more continuous, you'd say, "What is their salary? <clears throat> right? What's the salary of this person? How much? How much income do they have?" So everyone now has two coordinates. You want a distribution of the salary and of the birthdays, right? So now, if I just hit intervals on the birthday, either maybe the people look like this, and the birth and the intervals here line up with intervals here, but <coughs> the people are random all over. Right, so I took a sample of people's birthdays, and I only took, happened to have only the people with the low salaries. And I don't have anyone with the high salaries, but the distribution of her birthdays are. But I can have a, um, some, uh, some event that looks like a rectangle. Right, a rectangle is described by these four different sides, and the VC dimension will be four. And uh, so then, if I do a random sample of everyone on the internet, then I, you know, I, this, the rectangles count as these nice events. Any rectangle which has at least, you know, a p probability of having someone in it. I can hit each of the customer groups this way. So, uh, um, so I bring this up not to kind of go through the details of this, but uh, um, the point is that if you, if you want to hit something like all of your customers, you, you can't define too many properties that you want your customers to fit into. But if you fit some small number of groups, then you can you can use some um, some sort of technique like this. So, so sorry if this was a little rough. I kind of finished what I wanted to talk about earlier. So <laughs> um, yeah, so um, that's it for today. So um, so we'll we'll talk about on Wednesday what happens when we hit each of these we hit each of these regions, we hit each of the, the months of the birthday, but some months have a lot more people in them, um, a lot more than others. So if you want to do something like you want to uh, um, like have have every one in the sample, you'd have about the same number of people in each month. How do you do that? How many samples can you get? And it's kind of a much more general analysis that we do. So uh, we'll talk about that Wednesday, and I will uh, post the, the homework, the first homework for this online. It won't be due until the end of the month, but it'll, it'll, it'll go up.
probably. We're trying to find.